In Taiwan, aftershocks continue to rattle the island after that massive earthquake. New video shows a daring helicopter rescue in the mountains. This week's 7.4 magnitude quake killed at least nine people and injured more than 1,000. Dozens of people are still missing today and believed to be trapped throughout the island. That earthquake was so intense, it left many buildings like this one dangerously leaning into the street. Workers are now trying to stabilize those structures. Bay Area scientists are studying data from that earthquake in Taiwan. And as our Brian Hackney reports, they're looking for clues as to how a similar seismic event would play out here. Look at this. This earthquake isn't in isolation. We have a 7 and a 7.5, a 7.1, a 7.2. It has about 10 times the magnitude 7 earthquakes we've had in the last century. So it has been hammered repeatedly by large earthquakes. So this area is active. This area is super active. This area will not let us forget it. That's because so much of Taiwan's seismic landscape reminds us of our own, starting with their longitudinal valley fault. When I saw where this earthquake was on the longitudinal valley fault, I thought, OK, this is like being at home. This is like being on Tamales Bay, where I kayaked last weekend. This beautiful trough groove in the landscape that's formed by faults. And we were once almost as seismically active as Taiwan. Look at this graph. We had magnitude sixes and sevens ricocheting all over the bay. So the Bay Area was much more active. The 1906 quake appears to have shut down all of that activity. Not so many big quakes since 1906. And that's both good and bad. They've had 13 magnitude 7 and larger quakes in 100 years. But the frequency of these earthquakes means that the population is on board with preparation for earthquakes. When you get hit every four or five years, you get ready. And here? We have deluded ourselves into thinking that we don't really have a problem. We've turned our attention, understandably, to fire and flood. Fire and flood are new on the horizon, but earthquakes never went away. And while Taiwan's major population is well away from today's epicenter, we have managed to pour all of our population on the faults. We've just salted the faults with people and buildings. So this is a much bigger trial for us than it ever will be for them. A shocking scene as rescuers race to save people from a collapsed building in Taiwan. This dramatic video shows the moment it fell. A deadly earthquake hit as commuters were making their way to work in school on the island of 23 million people. Landslides and debris shut down highways. The impact so strong it was felt in neighboring China, sending school children running. Others in Taiwan took cover with protective gear. Authorities issued tsunami warnings in Taiwan and Japan. Both have since been lifted. I've felt some earthquake, but nothing like this. Yoli Seipang had just arrived from California. She was in her hotel room when the 7.4 magnitude quake woke her up. The whole room was shaking. Crews have worked around the clock to rescue dozens of people trapped inside buildings, tunnels, even a coal mine. As night fell in Taiwan, authorities warned of more tremors in the days ahead. And the White House said the U.S. is ready to offer assistance. Oh, 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 my God.
do you still have family that lives over in Taiwan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My whole family is still in Taiwan. Jesus, and, and how are they doing? Uh, pretty well. I uh, checked in with them yesterday, and then they said uh, they are all okay. That's good to hear. Um, are are they in the region where where the earthquake was striking? Yeah, actually, one one of the like uh, CD is my hometown. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Wow. Okay, that's scary. Yeah. Um, okay, let's let me just get into it. Um. So since since you said you you're from that area, so what what exactly like can you can you just tell us about that region like from to the best of your ability like what is what are they known for like just just a, a general summary? Oh sure, so uh actually Taiwan's official reports from the Central Weather Bureau announced that it was a uh, like a um a magnitude seven point two earthquake right and. The epicenter is just fifty miles away from the Hualien County, and uh, fifty miles away from the Hualien County hole. So it's pretty close to the to the to the whole, uh, city. Uh, it's a county hole, and uh, with the uh, with its hypocenter fifteen point five kilometer deep. Um, although it it hits uh the sea. But it's very close uh, to the island, so uh, it impacts multiple cities. So the uh, Hualien County and Yilan County was uh, is with the uh, uh, intensity of six, and then um, Taipei City, Taoyuan, Taizhou, and my hometown, uh, Xinzhou, is like intensity of five. So <laughs> multiple cities, yeah. Impacts the law. Yeah, yeah. It seems like it was very widely felt. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so um, so so Hualien Hualien County is um as a the the most popular uh place that people like love to visit uh during the holidays weekend. Um, there's a Taruko National Park. I'll, I'll say it's uh, one of the must see, must visit place. Yeah. Um, and um, famous uh with the beach, and famous with uh, uh like um hot spring in Ilan. So those 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 are the famous places. Gotcha. So it's, it's a tourist hotspot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the uh, east coast of the Taiwan. Right, Eastern Coast, and so I mean, I know I know Taiwan has has a history of having earthquakes. Um, is there is there any history about the in this particular region of as their history of earthquakes? And you know, has, is this something that the city has been prepared to deal with? Um, I say the uh, the seismic activities in Taiwan uh, uh, is. I mean, it's it's very often, yeah. Like tons of the seismic uh, activities in Taiwan, basically. So we've been trained since we 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 were like element. We were in the elementary school. Like when earthquake happened, you have to find some place to to cover your head in case something fall down to hit you, or just find uh just go to the uh for example um uh. uh a bathroom, right? There's more pillars in the building structure, so it's much safer. So, yeah, but but still, um, like I I can remember I, I was still in Taiwan twenty five years ago. Uh, that's last time we have the earthquake. The earthquake uh over like magnitude of seven, and it's terrifying. Yeah, I personally. I'm very scared of the earthquake. Yeah, I can imagine that you're in the building, and then you don't know when it will stop, right? And then it keep keep shaking, and you don't know if this building can still like very safely. But but you know you 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 can just wait, pray, or like until it stops. So. Uh, 
it, it, it's it, it's terrifying. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine. I mean, I'm sure you know. Here in the Bay Area, we have a have a history of earthquakes as well. But um, and yeah, it's kind of. It seems like it's something that's kind of entwined in our culture here. Um, I was gonna. So so you were you were in Taiwan during the last big earthquake in 25 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, Do you have any memories uh, of it? Yeah, it's uh, September twenty first, twenty five years ago. Uh, I I was still maybe like middle middle school. Yeah. Yeah. And then midnight, midnight, um, two a.m. something like that. Uh, I was sleeping. I I I I thought my 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 older my older brother is trying to shake my uh, mattress. Keep shaking it. I was like, "Why, why, why are you try to wake me out in the middle of the night?" And then turns turns out a earthquake last over fifty fifty six seconds, probably like that. And then every time there's a big earthquake, you'll feel the aftershock. And some of the aftershock can still like uh, magnitude six. And for next three days, I'm pretty sure it will have over 300 aftershock. Jesus, that's terrifying. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So uh, um, yeah, yeah. That, that yesterday I I I I I call my uh employees in, in my office my um, and then first uh strike uh there's a plant in my in my in my office still good. And then second strike, it fell. A good thing is that uh, it fell to the 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 couch. So that one's fine. But there's another one. It fell and it crashed. Wow. Yeah. Yeah.
the uh, scare of the earthquake is tremendous. And the, uh, I came from Taiwan. So we understand that the Taiwan is in the uh, earthquake zone. But personally, I never experienced earthquake in Taiwan during my lifetime there this, in this scale. This 7.4, when you look at it from a global point of view, will have been less damaging than a similar earthquake would be of the same magnitude in the Bay Area. This earthquake was deep, and um, the earthquakes, the faults in the Bay Area are unfortunately shallow and sliding faults right along the, you know, the East Bay and on the San Andreas. So these are earthquakes that have a high potential for damage. We were shaking quite a bit. Like you could see um, like dust falling off from the ceiling and you know, like particles and stuff. It took about 15 seconds, but somehow it seemed a lot longer. Two thirds of the, of the uh, meeting room or the uh, hallway just empty. They were running out into the streets. 